Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Back again. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Everything okay? Yes. Okay, so um, Alice in Wonderland, first published in 1865, uh, has since being translated. Mm. Uh, hmm? C. Since E. How can I make it correct? Ben. Ben. Yes. yes, thank you very much. Ben. Okay. And it's it's written as bean, but it's pronounced Ben. Don't 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 pronounce it bean. Okay. Uh, the Peace Corps was established on March 1st, 1961, by then President John F. Kennedy. Uh, C. Was established. Thank you very much. Uh, doctor, Dr. Rahman? doctor, you pronounce it correctly. Yes, I, I always do this. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I read it the right way. I'm really sorry. Yeah. So it's established. But they yet are, you're talking about been or established? Okay, okay. The advisor told himself while listening to the speech that a dozen other reporters would has already asked. Uh, yes, would have. Uh, have. have. Thank you very much. The start of the American Revolution, lanterns were hung in the old church, and the British were came. I think we're coming. Thank you very much. We're coming. Uh, or came and remove just were. The British came. You know, both mm -hmm. are correct answers. Linus Pauling has wins two Nobel Prizes. Has won? Has won, well, thank yeah. you very much. On the huge Ferris wheel constructed for a world exhibition in Chicago, each of the 36 cabs could held. Doctor, please, when, won, when? Or when, when, won, one, one. Yeah. when, won, won. One, one. Okay, when one one. Okay. Uh, okay, number six. Could hold. 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 Thank you very much. To overcome rejection of a skin graft system of matching for matching donor and recipient tissues has been developed. Has been. Has has been. Been. Has been. Again, again, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> has been, not be. You know, this is a sign of what? This is a sign of automaticity, that you, pro that you produce language correctly no matter what. And this is the sign of acquisition. This is what acquisition is like. Acquisition is you, pro you pronounce language correctly, native-like, without errors. So, um, so alhamdulillah, that's what I do. <laughs> I can't help it. Nails are commonly make of steel. Huh? Made. Made. Thank you very much. I'm happy to hear Abdurrahman's voice. This is you, Abdurrahman, correct? Abdurrahman, are you here? Or Mustafa Abid, Muhammad Abid? Yeah, Muhammad Aid, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. So, um, a patient suffering from amnesia may had, may a? Have. Have, very good. The idea of using pure nicotine to help smokers stop was first tries. Tried. Tried, one try. Tried, tried, thank you very much. Tried. Yes. And mind you, help develop herb, help either after help you either use uh, infinitive to and the base form, or you use the base form without uh, without uh, without without any without to. Uh, so it, you can say help smokers stop, like this example, which is correct, or help smokers to stop. Both are correct. Help smokers help smokers stop or help smokers to stop, okay? And actually it's, it's better not to use two. Uh, okay, just give me a, a second.
Okay, okay, back. Sorry, number one, separate, separates Manhattan's Upper East Side from Upper West Side. Hmm. What do we need here? Which we need one? Yes, subject. By you, animals, the water, or on land, or on, or on land. So after or we have, we have prepositional phrase. Okay. So before or, I'm expecting also a prepositional phrase. Uh, it can be found in. D can be found in. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Who is it? Abir. <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you very much. Number three, the purpose of labor union is to improve the working conditions, comma, space, comma, and pay of its members. Uh, C, job security. Thank you very much. And pay, and uh, uh, we have here is to improve. We have here verb phrase, and then uh, there have to be parallel structures. And pay, after pay, we have verb phrase so I, I we guess that in this space we need also also a verb phrase no 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 i'm sorry and to be is to improve the working conditions uh job security and pay no 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 i think uh, the job security right okay 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 again again after end what do we have Oh, an ace of la I'm sorry. Yes, it was correct. Job security to pay, pay of its members. This is this is a noun phrase. Okay, okay, and so working condition noun phrase, and also we need here a noun phrase. And how do we know the parallel? What, what parallel structure we need? We look at the last one, which is full here. Okay, and pay of its members here. Pay here. It's it's a noun phrase. The pay of it's like the salaries of. So it's a noun phrase. Okay, and then we need here a noun phrase, so job security, yes. It's, it's uh, doctor, uh, uh, why we shouldn't uh, select D? The job security, the job security. Uh, you add apostrophe S. This is a very smart question. Thank you very much for this question. You add apostrophe S only with what? Okay. With animate structures, okay. Apostrophe S for possessive S with only the rule of thumb, I mean the prescriptive rule with animate beings, okay, with human beings. Like for example, when you say uh, Jack's father, Jack's car, Jack's house, a Jack is a human being, it's animate, so we add apostrophe S with Jack. Okay? However, we can, on, we can also add apostrophe S with times. This is descriptive, not prescriptive. It accepts the prescriptive rule but it's acceptable like for you say, you say for example um, april's full day okay april's april is, a t is time okay last week's class for example last week's time okay so we had apostrophe s with last week but we cannot use apostrophe s with inanimate objects inanimate objects no we don't use apostrophe s like when you say, for example, the car's keys, can you say the car's keys? No, you say the car keys and that's it. Okay, yes, got it. Car keys, okay. Um, you say, for example, um, the house uh, door, for example, the door of the house, but you don't say the house's door, okay? You? Yes, okay, clear. Okay, number four, when? July 4th, 1789, the federal tariff intended by the to be revenue was remarked. The federal tariff subject and was. Thank you very much. Number five, inclined to push for such a reduction, it would be probably blah, blah, blah. D. Dear, where is the office uh, of management inclined? Office of management inclined to push for such a reduction? It would be probably, thank you very much. What, what is the original structure of this sentence? If where? If a? If where the uh, office of management? If, if what? 
if the office of management were inclined if the office management were inclined and then this is the second conditional as we said and then here we do inversion we remove if and we invert the structure. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. excellent. Number six, helium has the most low, low boiling point of all substances. Uh, uh, B, hmm. the, low, the lowest. The lowest, lowest. thank you very much. Yes. Number seven, there is a 20, 26 bones. What do you think? Uh, are, there are. There are, and I would like to stop here for a second um, to give you a very important note. We have a rule in English, after any number, after any number, more than one, okay, the noun must be plural. Again, after any number, more than one, the, the noun that comes afterwards must be what? Plural. So for example, you say uh, um, 22 hmm. men. Groups? Sorry? I said groups, groups, 22 groups, groups example, uh, or men. To be plural, okay? But in Arabic, we always, because most of us are originally from Arab, Arabic background, uh, in Arabic we use the singular noun after certain uh, numbers, like for example, a thousand. So I find this mistake very common in your IELTS writing and speaking, say for, for example, a thousand students or a hundred girl. Now, a thousand is a number, more than one, and then we need here to be to make it plural. A hundred girls. That's why we, we, this is the origin of this mistake. This is a very common mistake. Mind you, after all numbers, more than one, always use plural nouns. Clear? Yeah. Of the countdown, hold to 14 hours was order to give crews. B, uh, I think B. A, A held. I'm writing. Held to 14 hours, extension of the countdown, held to 14, to 14 hours was order, was order, to give order. Order. ordered also either was ordered or was ordering but not was order okay uh, doctor here the question i think it has two uh, mistakes hold here is not a verb extension of the okay. countdown hold the countdown hold is to is holding the, the countdown hold here is is uh, a noun sometimes okay. hold is uh, is used as a noun the countdown hold, this is a, a, a compound noun. The study demonstrates that neither experience or awareness, what do you think? Nor? Nor, nor. thank you very much. Some of the eye movements used in reading is actually unnecessary. Uh, see, where? Hmm. Where? Are, are actually. Were, uh, are or were, okay. Hmm. Actually unnecessary. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, doctor, I have a question in the sure. last uh, uh, session. Could I oh. ask it now? Or, uh, please, please go ahead. After the... Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, if, uh, you said uh, about time consistency. Okay. Uh, tense consistency. If I have a present in the tense consistency, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. In present, I must be, uh, all of the sentences will be present. But you gave a, an example what you talk about, I, ha I know that uh, he, uh, I think that he took the money yesterday. I think logically, the meaning of the sentence is acceptable. Um, the meaning is acceptable, but grammatically it's not acceptable. And mind you, in, uh, in, uh, in IELTS and TOEFL, um, you are being very criticized for your writing. So I don't want you to make these kinds of errors. Even if the structure is acceptable, on some uh, levels of grammar, because English grammar is different from Arabic grammar. English grammar can be, has many levels. There is the level of uh, informal grammar and the level of descriptive grammar and the level of prescriptive grammar. It's a long story. I don't want you to get involved in there. But I want you, but my, 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 my objective is that I want you by the end to write complex structures correctly. I don't want your assessor, your writing or speaking assessor, 
to have mm -hmm. like an excuse to uh, to make you lose marks. Okay. Okay. So okay. avoid these structures. Avoid. I mean, tense consistency is always a must. It's the prescriptive rule. It's also the descriptive rule. And exceptions are very rare. Are there any exceptions? Yes, there are exceptions, but they are very rare. And I don't want you to take the, to take you there. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I must write time consistency. Uh, sorry, sentence consistency without considering the meaning of the sentence. No, of course you have to consider the meaning. Okay. When you say, for example, I know. You say, for example. I know that he, you don't say stole the money. You don't have to say stole the money. Mm. Say that he has stolen the money. Mm. This sentence now is correct. Has stolen the money. What's okay. wrong with this? Perfect present and simple present and it give you the same meaning and it's, it's perfectly okay. Uh, the meaning does not contradict, should not contradict syntax. It should not contradict structure. Okay. okay, thank you. Now, could you use the correct tense with time expressions? Remember, we said before you cannot use um, let's use perfect present with what? With any time uh, specified in the past. So, uh, time expressions in the past, things like, for example, uh, yesterday, when, yesterday, uh, or blah, 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 ago two years ago, two months ago, two summers ago, one week ago, anything ago, last anything, last Friday, last weekend, last uh, summer, last, I don't know what, uh, things like, for example, in 1990, any time specified in the past, any specific past, then you, used to, you need to use simple past. Don't use, don't you ever use present, uh, perfect, or any other form of present, okay? And uh, I would like here also to talk about a very common error I, I see in your uh, speaking and writing. Uh, don't say, for example, from uh, Monday. No, you say last Monday. I haven't seen him since Monday. I, the last time I saw him was, for example, on Monday. But you don't say from uh, two years, for example. I always see this mistake, from two years. You know where it comes from, of course, from Arabic, because you translate Arabic uh, literally. You say, I haven't seen him from two years. Oh, for example, I saw him from two days. No, you say, I saw him two days ago. Okay, I saw him two days ago. Clear? Don't say from two days or from two years. Yes, clear, yeah. Uh, okay, since, of course, since and for used with what? Are used with perfect present and specific time in the past used with simple past. Okay, what is the difference between since and for? Since is used with point of time. But for is used with a period of time, okay? Well, you use sense with a, a point of time, like for example, when you say since, the point of time, correct? Since Monday, since last week, this is a point in time, since uh, summer, since July, since August, okay? Since 1991. This is all a point of time, okay? But four, you have a period of time with four. Four, you say, for example, four, two days, four, 10 years, four, a couple of hours, four, um, uh, three summers, okay? For two minutes, four, so four, after four, we have a period of time. But after since, we have a point of time. Don't get confused between four and since. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Because I always also see this, this mistake. I always see, see people say, for example, uh, since two days. Can we say since two days? No, we, we say four no, two days. Four, okay. days. four two days, not since two days. <laughs> And of course, yeah, past perfect. We we here. I'm. I don't know. I don't agree with Deborah Phillips in this part. We, we know. We all know how to use past perfect. We don't use past perfect only with time expressions like byte, 
1920. We use past perfect again, as we said, when two incidents occur in the past, we get the first one, the first, the, the, the one that happened first, past perfect. Okay, now I will give you one minute to uh, look at these uh, thing, 10 sentences and just tell me if they're correct or not. Um, you can start right now. Okay, let's do it together. The pilgrims have arrived in New World, in the New World in 1620. Incorrect. Incorrect. How can I make it correct? Arrived. Arrived. In uh, um, Okay. Since the new law, and this is again the word is law, not law, law was passed, it has been difficult to estimate taxes. Uh, doctor, after sense. Huh? After after sense, the present perfect or uh, the other one? Yeah, word. present perfect. So here. So it's, it's incorrect. Yeah, it has been passed for another reason also. Look at this sentence. Past and present. We need that consistency, correct? Mm -hmm. Has been passed, it has been difficult. Okay. The cashier put the money into the account two hours ago. Correct. Correct. All the votes have been counted last week. Incorrect. Yes, it should be. Uh, were counted. Were counted last week. The students are writing many compositions lately. Have right. Have uh, students. Well, it's, it's okay. No problem. Are writing. Have been writing. I mean, yeah. correct structures. Yeah. They are correct structures. Okay. Number uh, number eight, the Senate votes on the law to ban cigarette smoking in public in 1990. I voted. Yes, voted, thank you very much, 1990. By the time the main course was served, all the guests had arrived and been seated. I think it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. No problem. I had not uh, done much work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the word order, uh, verb order uh, of present perfect, uh, past perfect. I mm -hmm. had arrived. Was confused in it, yeah. And had I'm been confused seen. in it, yes. So which one is the first? Yes. Which one happened first? The guests arrived or we served the main course? What happens first? Uh, the guest arrived. Yeah, so it takes pers uh, past perfect. Perfect means before. Perfect past, what happened before uh, the past. So we have past here. What is the past here? The main course was served. This is past. What happened before that past? Guests had arrived and been seated. Uh, uh, clear now? Yes. Yeah, I had not done much work since I talked to you on Wednesday. Uh, I think it's, uh, I, uh, incorrect, incorrect, yes, uh, since, incorrect? Uh, since oh. I have talked. Okay, um, or we can put the sentence at the start of the sentence. Two things happened in the past, two things happened in the past. I talked to you 
okay? And then I had not done much work. So I think this is logic to put things in the start of the sentence. So uh, it will be I, correct. It's correct. Think, it is correct. Just give me a minute. What okay. happened first in the past? I talked to you, correct? And then I didn't do any, anything, any much work. So this sentence should have been past perfect. I had talked. And this sentence should be what? Simple past. Why? Because this is the one that happened first. I didn't do much work since I had talked to you. Okay? Or you can make it present perfect. I uh, have not done much work, work since I have talked to you. And remove one stay because you cannot have one stay with perfect present. Is it clear? Clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, number 36, use the correct tense with will and would. We said, remember we said yesterday, we talked about it yesterday, we said will with what? When the uh, subject here, when the verb is in present, we use will. When the verb is in the past, I use would because this is a, this is a past model, correct? Would is a past model of will. Might is the past model of may. Remember we said this yesterday. Could is the past model of can, okay? Should is the past model of shall, correct? Okay, I knew that he would arrive. I know he will arrive. I know he would, can we say I know he would? No, I know he will. Why? For tense consistency. Again, it was certain that he will or he would, he would, because we was, okay? With was, we use would. Is it clear? Yes, clear. We, we said uh, this yesterday. I, okay, take one minute, look at these sentences. Doctor, the screen is not shown on the, my screen. I think uh, there's a problem at your end. Maybe you try to restart your system or something. Okay. Because it's clear for everyone. Everyone can see the screen, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, Jake, uh, number, number three, Paul didn't say when he will finish. What do you think? Incorrect. How can I make it correct? Uh, would instead of will. Yes. Jake doubts that he would. Incorrect. How can I make it he correct? Will. That he will. I know that I will go if I can afford it. Correct. Correct. Okay, correct. The police officer indicated that he would write a ticket if he has the time. Yes. Correct. Mm. Uh, incorrect. He he incorrect. How can I make it correct? He if he had the time. Now, if we, okay. Either we make it all in present or we make it all in the past. The police officer indicates that he will write a ticket if he has the time. 
or the police officer indicated that he would write the ticket, the ticket if he had the time. Okay. In this, in, in the first case, it will be first conditional. In the second case, it will be second conditional. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Number seven. Students would often study in the library before they go to classes or before they go home. Correct. Correct. That's correct. He told me that he thought he will get the job. Incorrect. Would. Make it correct. Would. 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 Very much. The executive vice president emphasizes that the conference that at the conference that the board would not. Will not. Correct. Will not. Will not. Or we can say emphasize, emphasized Emphasize. that the board would not. Okay. Yeah. Students will register for classes according to who has the highest number of units. Yes. Correct. 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 Okay. Okay. Big, uh, one minute, answer these questions. Okay. Number one, when he uh, when he receives the money from the insurance company two days ago, he had already rebuilt the house. Incorrect. Incorrect. Received. Received. Yes. Received. Okay. The position on the city council will be filled next week when the electorate when the electorate votes. Correct. 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 The dentist fills the cavities every time the x-rays show that it was necessary. It is Incorrect. necessary. Incorrect. It is necessary. Thank you. It is necessary. When the bell rang, the students have left the house. Incorrect. How can Incorrect. I make it? When the no. bell uh, uh, has rang, um has, okay okay when the bell rang the students had left the house uh, left, yeah so they left okay. first and then the bell rang okay the space shuttle would be launched next month if the weather is good yeah. incorrect how can i make will it correct be will be thank will you be. very much will be the special delivery package has arrived by noon yesterday incorrect we have okay. to uh, it's arrived only by noon yesterday Thank you very much. Arrived. Arrived. Simple past. It is probable that the students who were tested yesterday were quite successful. Uh, it's incorrect. Okay, so how can I make it correct? It was probable? It was probably, yeah. Okay, this is much better. After 45 students had signed up for the class, comma, the class was closed. Uh, correct. 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 The parking at the arena was inadequate for the tremendous number of drivers who will want to park there. Incorrect. Mm. Who? He, uh, who would want. Who would want or who wanted. What are correct? Who would want or who wanted. They have not returned to Rhodes Island since they left in 1970. Correct. Um, simple past. And it has to be simple past because we have here a time specific in the past. So we cannot change it. We cannot change this part. But this part is present. They hadn't. They had returned, or maybe they did not return. 
Okay. Okay. Homework, homework. Beautiful homework. I love homework. I'm sure you do too. Okay, these two activities, homework, okay. And problems with passive verbs. Okay, the first, remember we talked about passive. When we talked about passive yesterday. Um, we said, how, we can, how can we form passive? How can we form passive? With simple present and simple past. Simple present and simple past, it's very easy. Is, are, am, of course, with present or was and were with past, and then the past participle. Okay. Okay. Example. Example. Let me say, for example, uh, again, I'm talking about simple past and simple present. Don't get lost. Like, for example, I read a book every month. So, how can I make this sentence passive? A book hmm. is read them. Is read them. Read, 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 read. Every month. Okay. She uh, finished the course. This is simple past. How can we make this into passive? The course was finished. finished. Okay. Okay. One one big mistake I always see here is make sure make sure the subject agrees with the verb. Sometimes uh, people forget to do this. Some, sometimes people ignore to make subject verb agree. Like for example, when you say the teacher, look at this uh, example. It's a bit tricky. Uh, punished the students. So to make it into passive, the students huh? were punished. Uh huh. Were not was. Sometimes people make mistakes here. They say was because they are affected by the original sentence, but you have to, be, to make sure. Now, this is the, the subject now, the students, okay? So this is uh, passive with simple past and simple present. For continuous past and continuous present, you add again is, are, am, was, or were, depending on if it's past or present, and then being, and then the past participle. Okay, like for example, when you say, um, she is eating pizza. How can I make this into passive? Pizza is? Pizza is being eaten. Being eaten, yes. We talked about passive before, correct? Some word, but it's fine here to talk about it in detail. Or uh, they were, they were, for example, um, what um, calling Jack? How can I make this into passive? Jack was being called. Was not worth. Thank you very much. Being called. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is for continuous past and continuous present. Do we have a problem so far? Is everything clear so far? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm sorry this session today might take a, a bit longer, like five minutes more or ten minutes more, because we, need, we, we cannot start passive and just leave it hang, hang on the way. Uh, for, present, for present perfect and past perfect, okay, we use, we use had or have or has, of course, depending on the present, has or have with present perfect and had with the uh, past perfect, and then been. And then past participle. Okay, like uh, the children has um, eaten, for example, the food. How can I make this into passive? The food hmm? has been eaten. Okay, this sentence should be the children have eaten, not have eaten. The food has been 
eaten. So the children have eaten the food, the food has been eaten, or if it's in the past, like for example, um, um, the engineer had built the system. So to make it passive, the system huh? had been built. Had been built. Easy? Is it easy so far? The last thing we need we need to know about passive after models like will, uh, would, can, could, blah blah blah. You use B and then the past participle. Like for example, you say the flight could be cancelled. Okay. Uh, advice, for example. Advice should be followed. Okay, and instructions must be uh, followed, for example. Okay, clear so far? Any problems? Oh, clear. Okay. No, clear. Okay, now that we have done this, I think everything next would be easy. Um, look at these sentences. I'll give you one minute to do uh, these sentences. Okay, let's do it together. Money is lending by the credit union. Money is lending. Money is what? Money is what? Lent. 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 Yeah. Lent. Yeah. So this is passive. The record had been chose, had been chose. Chosen. Had been chosen. 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 The topic for your research paper should have been approved. Correct. 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 That song has been playing over and over again by Steve. Has been played. Has been played, okay. Their utility bills have been increased again and again. Correct. Correct. Mm, okay. What do I have increased? I mean, with increase, I like to use increase in the active voice, not the passive voice, but okay, no problem. Number eight, the patients who are too sick to sit up are being assisted by the orderly. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. The offices were thoroughly clean last evening. Cleaned. Cleaned. Thank you very much. Cleaned. And thoroughly, what, what does thoroughly mean? We took this word before. What does thoroughly mean? Detailed. Detailed, thank you very much. Ishman Sabir? Good, thank you very much. Thorough is not through. There is an O here. And I said this word is important. We use it uh, commonly. Okay, the car that was stuck in the intersection yesterday is being repaired today. Correct? That's correct. That's correct, okay. Okay, recognize active and passive meanings. Okay, of course, we all know the difference in meaning between active and passive. We talked about this also. Take one minute, look at these sentences. I'm sorry, I'm taking uh, more time today than we, what we used to, but uh, I don't like to, I will not like to leave it hanging in the way like this.
Okay, let's do it together. Everything to organize the picnic has already done. Incorrect. Has e has what? Has been already done. Has been already done. Thank you very much. The police investigated him because of his unusual actions. Correct. Correct. The package containing the necessary samples has just sent. Incorrect. Has Incorrect. Been just sent. The vacation to Europe will plan carefully. The vacation to Europe will plan carefully. Incorrect. Will be planned. Be planned. Okay, I would like to give you a tip here. You see, carefully is an adverb, correct? And we will talk about adjectives and adverbs in detail. But one thing you need to know here is when we have past participle, always place the adverb before the past participle. The adverb, in case of passive, before the past participle, not after the past participle. So don't say, don't say the, the plan will... No, why it's getting too small. Don't say the, the trip. What's happening? Okay. Don't say the trip will be planned carefully. Okay. Not carefully here. Put it here. Will be carefully planned. Okay. Carefully planned. Clear? The floor, yes. remember the example uh, that we took just a minute ago, was thoroughly cleaned. Not cleaned thoroughly. So always put the adverb before the past participle, not after the past participle. Okay. Okay. The coffee turned bitter. When it left, when? Was turned. No, turned better. When it was left. When it was left. Because it didn't leave itself. It didn't leave itself. Yeah. Left it. the, the soccer game won in the closing minutes. Correct. The, the, no, 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 not correct. No, the players. Yeah, the players won. So the second game was won. Mm -hmm. Was won. The clothes made to rival the latest fashion. For this reason. The clothes was made. The clothes was made. Where was made? Were made. Where were. When the roads are icy, the, the, the buses do not arrive. Yes, so correct. Yes, correct. Okay, so again, I'm sorry, more homework. You will do this as homework and this as homework. And guess what? These two as homework and we'll close today. You have much homework, but uh, next time we start with a completely different uh, kind of skills, problems with nouns. But you have a lot of homework today. I'm sorry for, uh, for this uh, long session, but uh, I felt like it was not appropriate to stop in the middle of uh, passives. Well, thank you very much. I'm, um, I'm apologizing again. I broke the time limit and I gave you so much homework, but I'm sure you can manage. Um, thank you and see you tomorrow at the same time. Stay Have safe. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Uh, any thank questions you. before we leave? Uh, yes, I wanted to ask about the last homework. What is it? Um, okay, we will, the last homework, okay. Exercise 37 to 38 and then 37 to 38 TOEFL exercise, and then this last one from uh, 1 to 38. Okay, it's in page uh, 304, or I'm sorry, 286. Uh, okay, very nice. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. I'm sorry again for the much homework. Uh, thank you. Okay. And see you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.